there are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. Happy New Year's. Here's a quick weather video for this morning. I'm Scott Martin sitting in for a vacationing James Fan. Rain and storms move through this morning, but will begin to dry out later today. A stray shower may be possible on Saturday, but we get to enjoy a long stretch of dry weather until late Thursday. Here's what we got so far. Radar as of 449 this morning shows a ragged line of showers and storms moving through the west central parts of north central Alabama, stretching from north of Athens, through Tuscaloosa, and through Selma. The strongest cell at this point is about to move across the state line from Mississippi and will affect the western parts of Lauderdale, Colbert, and Franklin counties. Gusty winds up to 40 miles per hour will be possible in that cell. Temperatures are ranging from the lower 60s in the north to 70 degrees in the south. Birmingham was sitting at 69 degrees. While the Storm Prediction Center continues to have nearly all of north central Alabama in a marginal risk, the latest update from the National Weather Service in Birmingham as of 224 this morning shows that the threat for stronger to severe storms will be south of the line from Demopolis to Clanton to Alexander City. Isolated damaging wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour and a brief tornado may be possible in those locations. North of that line, any rain and thunderstorms should stay below severe limits. Instability has been decreasing throughout the pre-dawn hours so far, and that trend should continue until we get to sunrise. After that, a little instability may form along and ahead of the cold front, mainly in those locations I mentioned earlier. A good bit of shear will be in place during that time, and that is why National Weather Service Birmingham is sticking with that small risk for those locations. The timing breakdown for the potential of those locations will be from now until 7 a.m. for the western parts of the risk area, from 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. for the central locations, and from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. for the eastern parts of the risk area. Rain will start to come to an end for the western counties this morning, drying out in the central locations by early afternoon and exiting the state by the late afternoon or early evening. Don't expect to cool down yet behind the front as afternoon highs will reach the upper 60s to the mid 70s. Some sunshine may break out today behind the front before sunset hits. The cold front will stall out just to our southeast of central Alabama and another short wave will move across the area. There will be a very small chance of light showers over the northwestern corner of the area with the I-59 corridor, corridor mainly staying dry, and showers more likely over the southeastern corner of the area, mainly along and south of the I-85 corridor. Highs will be in the mid-50s to the mid-60s. The cooler air finally moves into central Alabama for Sunday. Skies will start off partly to mostly cloudy, but many of those clouds will move out throughout the day, and skies will become mostly clear. Highs will be in the upper 40s to the mid-50s. We'll stay dry with very nice weather and moderating temperatures for the first half of the week. We can expect mostly sunny skies for Monday and Tuesday before clouds start to move in on Wednesday ahead of our next system. Highs will start off in the mid-50s to the lower 60s on Monday, making it into the upper 50s to the mid-60s on Tuesday, and once again reaching the upper 50s to the mid-60s on Wednesday. A cold front will move through central Alabama late on Thursday evening, through the overnight hours that will bring showers and a few thunderstorms to the area, but the models have backed off of on the amount of instability that will be available. Therefore, severe weather is not possible at this time. Before that, we will be dry with clouds on the increase. Highs will be in the mid-50s to the mid-60s. Skies will be clearing out on Friday after the rain exits the area by late afternoon. Much colder air moves in behind the system, but highs look to reach the lower 50s to the lower 60s. That will do it for today's video. We are on a one-a-day video schedule for today as James is on vacation. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. I'll be back tomorrow with our next video. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.